Chet has what they call aphasia, and I know it's different levels of aphasia, but he has a, um, global aphasia in that um, we believe like his memory and everything's intact just from what, you know, his recognition and the, his ability to know who he's talking to. But so far as being able to speak, he can no longer speak. You took a nap? I see. Hey, I like your Detroit shirt you got on today. Dido. He says Dido. And there's different levels of Dido. There's um, Dido when you're really happy. There's Dido like you're really firm. And then there's a no. So we get different levels, but that's, that's about the extent of his speech. Um, our family absolutely loves music. And once we found out how much Chet liked music, we found a way to spend enjoyable time with him. Um, we take turns um, going on YouTube or something or other channels and, and clicking on different artists and playing music. If you get Chet to start dancing while he's listening to music, you, you get a thumbs up because you did good. If you play a song and he doesn't move, you get a thumbs down and we skip you the next round. So we, we have fun with him like that. As you know, um, Chet re originally retired from Major League Baseball because he had an inoperable blood clot in his stomach and um, he was diagnosed with a rare blood disorder he has polycythemia vera and then around 2017 started having many strokes and the first stroke was just kind of like slurred speech went to the hospital they said yeah you're having a TIA and he was able to speak again the next time it was a little right side paralysis couldn't move the arm or anything so we went to rehab that was fine and each time it got a little worse and a little worse and then finally in gosh um, November 2021 he was here at work and he said I don't feel good and we went to the hospital and they said he was having a stroke right now the therapy he, he goes through he goes through occupational therapy physical therapy and speech and what we hope to gain on the right side multiple times he's been able to come back and stand with his cane or walk with his cane um, but each time I, I believe recorded strokes I know there's probably been others but actual recorded ones he's had 13 so we've um, done a lot of therapy I'm super excited we are to be at the point that we want to share Chet's disorder with everyone else we know there's many families out there that are struggling with the same things and we hope to set up a foundation to be able to help get more education and more help um, to caregivers to those suffering with aphasia because I know where I was at two and a half years ago and not really understanding and a lot of I have articles that I read and videos that I watched I believe that Chet would speak again and so learning to accept where you are how to deal with it and the quality of life and that sometimes we need help to have people get us there and I think it's not a, it's not enough out there for caregivers and everyone so that's that's what I'd like everyone to know thank you I enjoyed being with you today. Okay. Love you. I'll see you later. Okay. The Mambas, most of them.